to begin creating our bike frame, I've imported reference images, as well as gone to the purple button, gone to stroke, and turned on planar. Also in my settings, I have my mirror turned on. I'm gonna begin tracing the bike frame with point mode by using the trigger in my drawing hand. I'll use three point corners so I can get a tight attention to detail. I'll press my non-drawing trigger to end it. And then I can come in here and turn on loop to make sure that we have a closed circuit. I can grab the edit point and delete it so that way I only have three on each turn in the stroke. Once I have it where I'd like it, I'll create more geometry. And I can go into edit and turn on snap and this will help me make sure that my geometry lines up along this blue axis. Once I have that looking the way I like, the next thing I'm going to do, for example, is with this front, I want to make a fork. So something similar to what you're seeing in these images. What I can do here is now I'm going to turn off planar. I'm going to edit this, turn snap off. Maybe I'll add an extra edit point in the middle here. Now I'm going to turn planar off. And now I can begin to make the wishbone and expand the fork from side to side. The same can be done on the back as well. You gotta turn off planar. And here you can have a pretty quick ideation of a bike frame. Again, if you'd like to edit how thick these strokes are, once you're in the edit mode, you can use this slider to do so. Now that I've logged into landing pad, I can check out my bike frame by double clicking and going to view. Here, I can use my mouse just like in traditional CAD to check out my model. And in October, we have Inktober mode, which lets you see the skeleton of your model, which clearly defines the silhouette.